हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम सरोज विश्वास गोल्ड मेडलिस्ट फर्स्ट रैंक होल्डर ऑफ 1994 बैच इन इंजीनियरिंग स्ट्रीम ऑफ ऑल द कॉलेजेस एफिलिएटेड टू यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ मैसूर ड्यूरिंग दैट पीरियड ए बी इन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग मैसूर ए एम टेक इन स्ट्रक्चरल इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी दिल्ली दैट इज आई दिल्ली ए सन सर्टिफाइड जाबा प्रोग्रामर सन माइक्रो सिस्टम यूएसए I have more than 25 years of professional experience in designing building structures and allied subsidiaries. I invite you all to learn with me how to design building structures using commercially available structural softwares with the help of some manual computation as and when needed. I learned connection design between the main gutter and the joist the simple connection between column and the beams and lastly we shall also try to learn the connection designs for the bracings so let us first see the connect connection de design detail for a joist to the main gutter so for that let us select the mezzanine floor so so these are our joists we can go to the select by group name joist so you can see all the joists are selected now go to mode post processing have to take the load case from 50 on to 338 okay that is envelope one okay now report beam and process Shear Y, we need to have maximum shear for connection design. Loading, again, select the loadings from fifty one. Two three thirty eight. Okay. So we have this. maximum shear 41.125 kN and we should look at the lowest value or so negative value which also could be maximum so for our case the maximum value is 50 on this is beam number 95 you can see the beam has been selected on the model to so beam number 95 On not one, everything has forty one point one two five kilonewton of shear, but one of this beam two thirty one has maximum axial force. So let us copy this now. We can. go to connection design and open clip connection design excel so these are the sheets which are available in www.designsteel.in you can download it from there so we can paste it here so we have a resultant shear there there could be a shear in z direction also at times so resultant shear and for this joist we do 
not have any joist on the other side so we shall keep this one blank in case there is a joist on the other side we should fill the corresponding shear on that joist also for this load case load case number 51 so let us see what is the size of our joist it is 200 200 by 4 and 130 by 6 then we have to check the size of the main cutter also it is 350 by 5 and 170 by 10 let us input them 350 by 5 so only wave is required for main beam and joist wave test of the joist is 200 let us put the value of the joist dimension also so joist dimension for which the connection is being designed is 200 the wave thickness is 4 and FU is 490 FI is 345 that is okay so this should be also actually in green colors because these are the in, these are the input which will be, which will require you can change all these values as per your requirement when do a real projects so this doesn't matter to us we can leave it as it is so we can select any isa clip angle a indian standard angle is usually used for joist uh, clip connection so once you choose you have to put the thickness here also number of legs obviously your joist will have you can see the joist will have two number the clit will have two numbers of like the assembly of clit these are the these are the two legs so our clit will be if you will be 410 and if i usually in indian case 250 is given but in local at times lesser yield stress is, stress is obtained from test so we shall take it as 240 so number of boards let us keep it three numbers number of row let us keep it one no bolt grade 16 diameter should be the minimum diameter we should use 12 diameter only if only in case of purlin purlin or gut type of connection so we can change this value is required the notching here you, you can see the not, notching depth so we can make it 25 also so age distance 40 mm we are keeping as of now we can make it 30 mm because we have a very lesser depth of wave available with us and let us make us 50 mm so all shot dimension is automatically taken so you can say okay less than dwg greater than 0.6 dwg can go 326 resultant shear is 26.658 kN on each bolt so we have to check the capacity of the joist and block shear you should always read this clauses of the code that is IS 800 2007 when you will be using this sheet we do not have any forces from the joist to combine load we do not have as of now 
so our collection is safe so we save this set what is our grid number we can see in the wind load diagram we had created earlier the grid number is c so let us put the grid number as grid c and let us save this in a similar manner we can you can design the kind of joist connections as well from we have the column to the beam this this will be simple connection this will be also clip connection now after that we have this studs so have to design this studs we can go to select by group name start and ties so our start and ties has been selected view now these are the starts along with along which the bracing connections will come so let us select by inverse view selected shift x now you can see these are the pipes and these are square hollow section so we shall not obviously this starts will have more forces so let us check the forces for this start and we can design a second group for this top pipe members so go to report beam and forces this time you have to take care of axial forces loading same again 51 to 338 take now you can see axial force is maximum for left hand side strut so we can copy this value now let us go to connection folder we can t we can consider the maximum axial force as tension and compression both and be on conservative side but if if economy is required we can go for which which is having maximum tension or which is having maximum compression so as of now if you see it is load case number 328 so if you paste it here axial force is this now whether it is compression or tension for that we need to go to load case number 328 328 now then click on fx so 328 is compression so we should actually put these values on this and make it blank now let us check maximum tension also for that we have to view selected object for that we have to scroll through 
the load cases result view value menu then beam result axial annotate now you can see the values are shown on the along the member this ship takes so that members are not member details are not given displayed on the screen so now if we you can see 0.513 this is compression this is 8431 1.0 1.940 is tension 2.572 so 2.572 is the maximum tension so this is load case number 120 so let us for report demand forces axial loading or loading is 120 take 120 so this is our axial tension in the member so let us go to the excel file and paste this value on tension side paste so we have got these values i have to see the size of the size of the member let us put up the axial diagram ship x 88 88.9 This is the outside diameter. So, you can choose it from nominal board. This is 80. This is the drop down. Then, thickness of the member to which is which it is connected. Let us view whole structure. Now, this is the member. Thickness is 5 mm. Wave thickness of the column is 5 mm here. So let us put is 5 mm. So let us take 16 mm diameter bolt. You can see we would like we would have a end plate like this. Minimum requirement. Uh, at the position of the bracing wherever the bracings are coming at that those positions this end plate had to be modified accordingly according to the geometry of the connection on the other side but for other for all other place we can provide this connection so if we go for this is this is the case where tension forces will be coming and some prying will be created So we have to check with the thickness of the plate. We have taken 8 mm. We can check with 6 mm also. 6 mm is still safe. Plate thickness is okay. 4.77 is required. Size of the weld is also safe. So size of the weld four mm we have taken. Yet it is coming check size of the weld. See this warning is coming because we are providing a fillet weld. But so we actually minimum size of the weld available is weld rod available is two point five mm. But whether that will be available every time 
is a question. So, a structural engineer can suggest that stitch weld could be made around the periphery and then in the second second run the portion left over can be again stitched so the melting of the metal can be bypassed that way so whenever there is a thickness issue you uh, thickness issue uh, stitch weld is generally recommended so that metal doesn't get pierced because of because of lot of generation of lot of heats so with this the connection design of a start is okay in a, in a similar member manner we can design the connection for shs and other pipe members as well see the connection design of the basings now these are the basings which are coming out from the from the base plates so go to report beam and forces axial force again the same num load cases 51 to 338 So 45 kN is the maximum axial force, copy it and go to the connection folder. So basing connection, now you can basing connection at base, again this these are the excel sheet which is available in my website that is www.designsteel.in so let us see whether this this is this ax maximum axial force is compression or tension so let us open the axial force diagram select this this two member view selected member only so result view value beam result axial annotated so our load case was we paste it here 109 let us go to 109 now see One not nine is a response spe spectrum case, so really we cannot. They, they do not have any position, so really we cannot know whether this is a compression or tension. So we will shall treat both tension and compression as same. So we shall paste it both tension and compression. See in dynamic analysis, signs are not known. So. in combination they are being put so or grid was this is along grid 1 on grid 3 so the particular member is in Forty-four, forty-five point five six four, forty-six point one zero six. The actual force. So this is, so this is along grid one. Let us put grid one here. Now let us choose the diameter of sixteen mm. and see what happens weld size we can take 4 mm so 
नंबर ऑफ बोर्ड्स टू नंबर ऑफ रोज नंबर ऑफ बोर्ड्स इज फोर नंबर इफ यू चेक इट वी कैन रिड्यूस द थिकनेस ऑफ द प्लेट्स ऑल्सो thickness of the gazette plate uh, minimum provided here is 10 we can modify this to make it 8 so for this we are taking it 10 mm only so thickness of the base plate we had designed a base plate let us go let us go to that design thickness of the base plate we have designed as 20 mm let us make this let us make this 20 mm these are the value we can change so let us make the thickness of the gazette plate also 10 mm so everything is safe at times we have to provide extension within the pipe itself so there is no extension required now save this now you have to check the connection between these members this is the intermediate connection there is a beam so let us select this view let us check for maximum axial force result report remain forces maximum axial force loading t1 to 338 copy this let us open the basic connections intermediate basic connections sheet this is along grid 1 or 3 we will see it later this will be your c2 We have a sheet here. Paste it here. Now we need to know the forces at this node. Twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty, twenty-one. So go to the Excel sheet. Node, data, filter. Now twenty. 21 select 20 on first deselect all of them then 20 20 or 24 and 26 so you can see member number 182 is having 44.107 so this is the load case number on not 9 Our member is beam is one eighty two. 
is shift B, shift X. This is our 182. So let us select this beam, select this beam, and view whole structure. Select this beam as well. View all load cases 182. Report beam end forces, axial force, load case 109. Now this is the required things, so let us paste it, select all, ok, now data validation. Uh, filter so on node was 21 so we have all the corresponding values now here so this is our main connection or connection is being designed paste you can do one thing Copy it from here. Copy. Paste it here. So then link it. 182. Then link this to the beam that is let us see. so these these are all compression now this is not known view this is also in compression so you can see here a problem is there so what will you do? We will go for static load cases. Then we will come to know what is happening because this is dynamic losses. Everything is being shown as positive value. So view whole structure. Select this beam. View. Report beam and forces loading we know our static load cases starts from 201 to 200 and wind loads are always static so we can select it 201 to 338 now see it is 207 which is giving maximum value now let us go to report B main forces axial force Loading 207. Copy it. Let us delete it from here. Paste. Filter. Twenty one is required. So we have this copy. Let us paste it here. Copy. 
you can just check the axis compression or whether compression or tension is there. So it was 207. It is below. Let us go to load case number 207 and open this. You can change the scale from here. Apply axial is 20 apply so mid one is having the minimum value this is beam number 47 so this should come here 47 this is acting as a tie and this should come here Now this is intention, this is intention, compression is only this. So we can choose other value accordingly. Let us make it 2 and see what happens. So this is 10 mm. Outside diameter is our. 88.9 see the various sizes you can mold twig here thickness of the column we had 5 mm so let us see the connection design pitch is to be revised so let us go and see Let's make this three numbers. Pitch is okay now. So everything is safe now. So in this way, you can. Design the connection of the E member, uh, uh, dressing connection at the roof braces. So all these sheets are available in my website for a project discussed in my website. That is www.designsteel.in. Uh, you may have to modify the Excel spreadsheet according to your need at times uh, and because there could, could have been link link at other places while I have copied those so spreadsheet so in honor honor to a spreadsheet you might find some e error uh, you can use another spreadsheet and modify that sheet to that particular requirement that should should not be a much of effort I shall try to load this spreadsheet as well on the website. So, with this, our all connection designs are over. In next sections, we shall have a look at the design of Pallin and the guts. Uh, till then. You may go through all the excel sheets available in my website website for connection design and try to understand the provisions of taking on those in those spreadsheet the clauses referred referred in those spreadsheet go to those clauses and read those clauses so that you will have a better clarity and you will be a expert structural engineer.